Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Kelly Rush, and I'm the product owner for TechSmith Snagit for Google Chrome. And today I'm going to be showing you just a real quick video on how to take your captures in Snagit for Chrome and get them into Google Classroom, into an assignment. So without further ado, uh, let's get to it. So if you haven't seen the Google Classroom interface, this is what it looks like. It is um, pretty straightforward. So you can have announcements for your class or you can start new assignments. So we'll go ahead and click that and you can see um, all of the normal things you'd expect for an assignment. So the title, description, due dates, and then attachments. And attachments is what we're most interested in today. So with Snagit for Chrome, of course, we have a really good integration with Google Drive. So all of the captures that you make, images and videos, are automatically synced and uploaded to Google Drive. And that's uh, what makes this sort of interesting. So um, just for an example, and I'm not a teacher, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, you, know, you can incorporate this into your own lesson plans. But just for an example, let's say that we had a diagram of a cell. So if we wanted to take that and put it into the uh, assignment for the students, we would just click on the Snag it for Chrome extension, which launches the control panel on the side of the screen. So you have your image capture options, and then you also have your video capture option here. So we'll do just a quick region capture, and we'll drag out the region that we want to capture. And we have a region confirmation, so you can drag that around and make sure that everything fits in place. And when you're ready, click on the uh, camera icon. And then up pops your preview window with your cell on there. So we will just call this cell diagram. And save that. And so now you could use all of the annotation tools um, to do anything you want. So you know, we'll just put label here, just as an example of what you can do. And so when you're done, you don't have to do anything. It's automatically saved into Google Drive. Now, obviously, if you wanted to share that with others, you could click on the share button. Um, but because we automatically sync with Google Drive, it's already there. So let's click back over to the browser and into Google Classroom. And so for the title of this assignment, we will put something simple like cell diagram. For the description, we will say label this diagram. Okay, due date. And then again, this is um, where the attachments are. So you can attach just a file from your computer. You can do a YouTube video or a link to a website or Google Drive, and that's what we're interested in right now. So we will click on the Google Drive option, and you will see an um, uh, interface that shows your Google Drive, uh, all the folders and files that you have, and everything that we automatically sync in Snagit for Chrome goes into the TechSmith folder. So you're going to want to click on that, and then you can see our cell diagram capture that we just took, and you have to Bear with me here. It's a little bit out of frame for my video. Okay, we'll click Add and get that back in frame. Okay, so now you can see that our uh, title and description are there and the cell diagram. And so when we're ready to assign this to students, we simply click on the Assign button and give it a second. And then Google Classroom automatically creates the assignment with all the information and attached to it is your cell diagram. So then the students can simply click on that and now they'll have access to the cell diagram. And they can then of course uh, use Snagger for Chrome to take a capture of that and do all the labels and it'll again automatically sync into their drive interface and from there uh, what they would turn in is uh, sort of the same thing. Just uh, upload one of your captures from Drive. And that's it. Hopefully that helps you out. At some point I might uh, show a couple other uh, ways to integrate, but I thought that would be a good way to get you started on using Snagger for Chrome with Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Bye.